Yes, it's with Yat, and welcome to Greek in the City. In today's video, I have the House of Mimosa to tell me a story time about a Greek contractor. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, was he a contractor? Well, he did stuff on the side, I yeah. think. Yeah. All right, no doubt. Well, don't forget to subscribe to Greek in the City. Let's go! So, back to my Greek contractor story. Yeah. All right, okay. you tell him. All right, so, you know, my second husband, Dr. Mr. Baffin, who's a Jew, which is nothing wrong nothing with Nothing wrong with it. Nothing they, they, wrong with it. they have Greek juice? We have Greek juice. Do we know? We do. So, uh, you know, my husband's away on business. and All the time. Right. Oh. So, uh, one of my Greek friends, Pappas there. Okay. Oh, you know. Which Pappas? Mr. Pappas. There's a lot of Mr. Pappas. Pappas. There's only gotta, there's gotta be one family, Pappas here. Mm -hmm. But, but I want you to know that there's a lot of Pappases. Like, Pappas is probably one of the most popular Greek names. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, just Mr. Pampas is what I called him. He's a friend of mine. It's not relevant to the story. Yeah, it doesn't matter, is. honey. He's just Pampas. He asked me if he wanted to go to dinner, you know, which was fine because, you know, we were just friends. I mean, you know, his wife was home busy with the kids, so we go out to dinner, okay. you know. And he's a nice guy. He's such a good and guy. And he, like, pays for everybody. Yeah, yeah. He's nice. So he was, he took me to dinner, paid for the whole thing. Fancy Samantha, she was so fabulous. Oh, I love that. And then we're, on, we're being driven back home by his driver. Oh, nice. And we're in the back seat, and he asked if he can give me a foot massage. I said, all right. I mean, who am I to refuse a foot massage? I mean, really. I've never seen a guy get so riled up and excited over giving a foot massage to a I lady. Mean, I've seen it, but... <laughs> so he lets me off at my, my house mm -hmm. and hands me an envelope for $250. I thought, well, well, that was nice. This must be one of those dates for charity. Then I can decide what charity I want to send the money to. Donate to. Yeah. So then he calls me up about two weeks later. He says, too busy for dinner, but asks if I want to be part of this clothing drive. Well, he didn't, uh, he didn't go into all that, but he asked me if I could send him some clothing. It's so nice. And I said, all right, this must be one of those things in New York City we have here where, like, uh, you know, if a homeless lady's trying to get a job, she needs clothes. Well, what kind of clothes did he ask for? Well, this is the thing, because I, you know, at first I was like, I'm not going to give away my good stuff to no, these no, ladies. I don't even know. He'd give but, it to me first. Yeah, but all he wanted was panties. So I figured, all right, well, I can do that, because I don't even wear them anyway. No. So, well, we're I, former showgirls. Yeah, so I sent him my panties, and he sent me an envelope $250. Wouldn't you know, two weeks later, a friend of his calls me up. I don't know if he was Greek, I don't know, I can't remember. Well, who knows? He asked me if I could send him some more clothes. I said, all right, at this point I got about $1,250 for the charity. Uh -huh. I said, okay, sure. I said, what do you need? He said, peonies. He says he needs them broken in because it's more comfortable for the girls. Well, that makes sense. You know, I like to throw mine in the wash once or twice. Yeah, so I called Gina Marie up because, you know, I, I know she wears peonies on the account of the bad uh, circulation ventilation system at her office. <laughs> so I asked Gina Marie, can I borrow some panties that she has had because she wore? Yeah, used. Yeah, so she sent me her panties. I sent them to this guy. Sends me an envelope $250. <laughs> yeah, nice. And that paid for my groceries that week. Guys, you realize that wasn't for charity, right? Well, no, I'm still deciding which charity to give it to. I gave Gina Marie 10% because yeah. I figured she needed it. Well, it was my underwear. Yeah, so I figured she would know. take 10%. And of course. I'm trying to figure out which charities to, you know, send this to. And once I decide that, I'll, you know, and hey, send it along. Charity starts at home, you know. Well, hold on, hold on one second. I think he wanted to just sniff them. I think, I think he's just a pervert. What? Who? Oh my god, is he a Wait a minute. pervert? You should have told me about this. Me? Your husband Frankie's all into the it. Well, honey, I mean, a lot, people, a, a lot of people- You should why they wanted my panties. Honey, a lot of people are into many different kinds of things, honey. I, who knows what he wanted the panties for? It's definitely not charity. Don't forget to go and subscribe to the House of Mimosa. They have their own channel, which is called the House of Mimosa. And then they have another show on KSV TV World called The Anita and Gina Marie Show. Don't forget to like the video, comment in the section below, and subscribe to Greek in the City. Sarapo, that means I love you in Greek. Bye, guys. Huh? Sarapo. This is Souvlaki, malakes. Yeah! Vanilla!